everyone. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Tatum and this video is going to be a week in my life balancing work, school, responsibilities, everything. If you are new to the channel, I am a software engineer full-time and I'm a part-time student at Georgia Tech in their Master's of Analytics program. I also have a three and a half month old puppy. I just moved to Virginia and whew, there is a lot going on to say the least, but just kind of wanted to share with you guys what a realistic week in my life looks like these days. It's five o'clock on Monday, so I just finished work for the day. I have an exciting new project that I've been working on for the past week, so I'm probably going to continue to run it throughout the night. I have no idea how long it's going to take to run. I'm pulling data from AWS, Amazon Web Services, basically the cloud, and I have to refresh every hour so that it doesn't die on me, which I already ran it this morning at like 9 a.m. for two hours and then it died, like my whole computer died. So I lost two hours, so I had to restart, which totally sucked. But yeah, so I'm just gonna continue to run that. I also need to do 12, 30, which I'm trying to get back into exercise. I feel like since I've moved and there's been so much going on, I've just been kind of too busy with other stuff or making excuses as to why I think I'm too busy to be exercising. So I really want to make it a priority this week and moving forward. I also need to do some schoolwork tonight. I have a homework to finish and I want to finish my course project this week. So the semester is almost over. It'll be over in about two weeks. So this week I want to finish I have one homework to do and one course project that I need to finish and then next week I'll take an exam and then I'm done with my very first semester which feels like a huge huge accomplishment. I'm so proud of myself for doing this especially when there's so much change in my life. So I've been working on that and Schweetz is just asleep right now. I'm sure there will be a lot of Schweetz content in this vlog. So let's get to it. I legitimately just had a heart attack because I plugged my phone back into my work computer to charge it and everything turned black and I thought I was going to have to start over. But luckily, I don't. At least not right now. Fuck. And yes, my computer screen is dirty. Some people like to say how they want you to take the next ten steps of your day. Some people want to tell all right done with my workout dinner sweets and i have both had baths and i just turned in my final homework of the semester which is so surreal i cannot wait to finish my project hopefully tomorrow and then I can just worry about the exam and be done. Good morning. It is Tuesday. I put in some laundry. Schweetz has gone to the bathroom, which is fabulous. My script finished running, so I need to talk to my manager today about next steps for that project. I have already called the vet and scheduled boarding for Schweetz, which is actually going to kill me when I have to drop her off and do that. We literally have not been apart for more than like three hours at a time. So the fact that I'm leaving her there for three days, I will cry for sure. Um, my sister and I made some plans to go to a rooftop on Thursday, which will be so fun. If you watch Summer House, it is a like lover boy 
event. So Kyle Cook and Carl Radke will be there. So I'm so excited to go to that. And on Saturday, I want to clean my apartment. And Sunday, Sydney and I are going shopping. So that's the rest of my week's plans. Sit. Lay down. Good girl. Treats for you. Treats for the sweets. sister's apartment and we're going out tonight which is crazy for me I do not go out on Thursdays but I'm super excited and the hackathon went super well today I mean our project's not done but we have three hours tomorrow so yeah Six foot four, Balenciaga, all black, stretch Bugatti, and it's sitting on me. Good morning, folks. It's now Friday, and I am just living my best life. Like, I met Carl Radke yesterday, and I think he's like the most perfect man in the entire world. I made a comment to him about, like, you know, being sober, and he said, It's nice to know I'm not alone. And I literally almost started crying. It made me so emotional and just love him and the show Summer House so much more. So last night was absolutely fabulous. This morning, um, I already did some schoolwork. I did peer reviews for our course project and our last homework of the semester. So in order to get a grade on your own stuff, you have to peer review three other people. So. I did that. Now I need to start work. I finished the hackathon today. So yeah, that's what's going on. So literally something exciting is always happening in the apartment and I was cutting her nails and I did it too much. So I had to call the vet and now there's flour everywhere because they said that'll make it clot. But I feel like a terrible mom and I'm probably never gonna cut her nails again. <laughs> update my hackathon team made it through to the second round but then we lost which sucks but i'm just proud of the application that we made and how it all came together so done with work for the week i think i'm just going to relax tonight try to get some laundry done and watch the ultimatum you know. 